Hey guys, Technician here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to talk about an issue that you might encounter or could encounter with your Face ID being disabled on your iPhone. You'll notice this there. If you go into Settings and Face ID and Passcode, you'll notice it will say a problem was detected with the TrueDepth camera. Face ID has been disabled. This could be quite annoying because you lose access to Face ID and a lot of the services as well. So we're going to walk you through the basic simple troubleshooting step that will resolve any software related issue and minor hardware issue as well. And then talk about in depth what possibly could be the reason behind this and other solutions as well. So usually this happens for multiple reasons. It could be a minor software update that Apple release. It could be that you re you replace the screen itself. In that case, you probably damaged the sensor or something like that, or it's simply dropped, or it's just the phone needs a reboot or something like that. So we'll show you all the steps to troubleshoot this. So first thing you want to do is, of course, go ahead and clean the front of your top notch right here. This is where the front facing cameras are and the sensor. So you want to make sure that there's no dirt or even something covering it that could potentially obstruct it. If you had a crack or something that happened here, that could also have damaged the thing. So just take a microfiber cloth and just wipe it down. Simple but effective. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and put your phone in airplane mode. And to turn that on, you're going to simply pull down the control menu here and then click on that airplane icon. And once you see that airplane icon, now we're going to do a force restart. Force restart, it's going to happen with pressing the volume up and down and then holding the side button. So you're going to quickly press and release the volume up, volume down, and then hold this big side button on your phone here. Now this will work on iPhone. 10 and above where this face ID is accessible. So you want to just keep on holding that and wait till you see the Apple logo appear and then we'll let go of that side button. We'll let go of that side button. When you saw that slide to power off, you don't want to do that. You want to just keep on holding this button till it goes completely black and then the Apple logo appears. Then you let go of it. And what it does is it does a fresh reboot. It's a little bit more powerful than just restarting the phone. It just resets everything now you'll probably be prompted with your passcode so we'll go ahead put in your passcode here and then this time bring down the control menu here take the airplane mode off now and now we're going to go into settings and then go to face id and passcode go ahead and enter your code one more time here once you enter your code here you're going to either see that message that means it didn't get fixed and if it's gone awesome you have fixed the issue. Now, let's say you're still having that issue. The next thing is to do is going to be resetting the whole face ID and trying to set it up again. You'll see this option available. It might not be available depending on the the issue again, how bad it is. So you're going to want to reset the face ID so it will delete your face ID and hopefully that message goes away and then you want to go ahead and set up the ID one more time again. You'll click on that, get started and set it up and hopefully that resolves the issue. Now let's, if that didn't resolve the issue, what can you do next? Simply go back here. Now this time you want to make sure that your phone is up to date as Apple releases fixes sometimes for a bug related issue that could be affecting the camera. You want to go to settings again, general software update, and this time connect to Wi-Fi or make sure you have cellular data. See if there's an update that you can update to again. Generally, updating your phone to the latest iOS version fixes a lot of software issues and bugs. As you can see, Apple always announces it. Go ahead and click on download, install, make sure you're connected to a power source, and install that update. And hopefully, after that, your issue is resolved. Now, let's say you're still having that issue, you're still getting that annoying message. The next thing you want to do, again, it's a little bit more effort that you have to put in and it's a little bit more extensive. Sometimes, what you can do that might help, again, in the long run, is backing up your device on iTunes or iCloud, however you do it, and then doing a factory reset by going to settings. And then once you're in setting, you'll be here, you'll go to general, and down here where it says transfer reset phone, you want to do that erase content, but don't do that until you backed up your device. But it will delete photo, video, app, and everything. But of course, if you have a backup on your computer, you can just restore from the backup, but it's another thing we 
want to do as a final solution again this is a lot more intensive and you want to look up a video on how to do that so don't proceed if you're not comfortable with that and after doing all that even resetting if you're still seeing that issue it's still quite frustrating but it's most likely whenever you, you're seeing this these didn't fix it it's going to be something to do with the actual camera and the sensor that are potentially damaged which would be a hardware related issue that might need to be replaced so you might want to take it to the apple store or authorized apple retail store that does uh, the fix and if you can go ahead and they'll fix it for you most likely they can uh, do that for you but we won't do that because again that's more advanced stuff for you guys so we wanted to go through the basic troubleshooting so hopefully this video is helpful and you found another way to fix this issue make sure to leave a comment in the comment section thanks for watching guys see you guys next time